go everyone. So today we're going to proceed with 5.2 semiconductor diode. Okay, first thing about this subtopic, semiconductor. Uh, this year in our new syllabus, we are not going to discuss detail about semiconductor itself. So how semiconductor is produced, uh, what is poles, ada low ohm sebagai pembawa charge, ada electrons sebagai pembawa charge. So what is the doping process? So kita nak masukkan bahan benda sini doping ni maksud dia you put something inside sebab tu kalau orang atlet kita nak test dia ambil dadah ke tak kita kata doping kan uh, so doping tu you put something inside in semiconductor so dia akan jadi lagi bagus lah so cerita detail pasal semiconductor tu kita tak belajar untuk PC ok tu syllabus tahun lepas so syllabus baru kita akan terus apply diode as a semiconductor so semiconductor ni kita ada benda tinggi lah semiconductor becomes diode becomes transistor ok processor semua tu ok from semiconductor so I'm not going to explain about semiconductor the process semua tu cuma kita kena tahu what is semiconductor so nama pun semi so dia boleh kendak uh, elektrik dan dia juga boleh tak nak kendak elektrik so, sebab tu kita kata semi so apa yang menyebabkan dia memendakkan arus mengalir apa menyebabkan dia tak gunakan arus mengalir so kita terus nak guna dia jadikan dia diode so apa diode tu buat what is the function of the diode in electrical circuits ok yang tu kita nak fokus 5.3 kita akan belajar juga pecahan dia semiconductor becomes transistor ok in general we have two types of semiconductor we have P types and N types so kalau kita gabung P and N jadi apa kita gabung N P N jadi apa ok so saya tak nak pergi detail lah pasal semiconductor That one uh, roughly you can read on page 182 Ada table kat situ forward bias dan reverse bias Okay, pincang songsang dan pincang depan So, apa beza dia lah Okay, so kita nak terus ke application of diode in circuit So, diode tu apa? Diode tu semiconductor lah Okay, so first thing, ini simbol untuk diode Okay, so this is the symbol So, arus tulang alik, simbol dia macam ni Apa maksud arus tulang alik? Dia boleh pergi this way Half cycle dan another half cycle goes this way Maksud dia kalau kita buat graph, current against time So, dia pergi one way Then, dia pergi ke sini pula Another way So, this is one cycle Kalau arus terus, this is AC current Kalau arus terus, baru ni kita dapat arus macam ni lah Ini ada sama First thing about diode, we have two types of diode Kita ada forward bias, reverse bias Pincang depan, pincang songsang Apa maksud pincang depan? Okay, ni kalau arus mengalir ke sini Okay, so this is pincang depan Whereas if another cycle, arus lalu ke sini This is pincang songsang lah Maksudnya arus ke sini, dia buat arrow tajam ni dulu Songsang Masuk belakang Ke sini Pincang depan Ok So Apa yang special ni Buat diode Ok what is diode Diode is semiconductor Of course Electrical component That allows current to flow in one direction only So Diode ni Dia benarkan arus mengalir in One direction So kalau arus mengalir kot sini Dia benarkan Kalau kot sini Dia tak benarkan okay. So Apa guna dia So kita guna dia Untuk Tukarkan AC current ni Pergi jadi Direct current Sebab apa nak tukar Okay So we learnt before uh, Electric How electric is generated Macam mana kita hasilkan elektrik daripada Pencawang daripada uh, Empangan hidroelektrik semua tu Sampai dekat rumah kita TNV supply kat rumah kita 240 volt So 240 volt is AC current So yang plug kat rumah awak tu AC current Ok alternatif Arus tulang alik So bila kita plug Arus tulang alik ni Awak nak charge awak punya handphone ke Nak charge awak punya laptop ke Di ice ke apa Yang kita nak guna dalam elektrik komponen Semua DC Direct current So, you boleh tengok you punya TV ke Kita tengok level kat belakang tu 
dekat handphone ke apa dia tulis kat situ berapa karen dia nak untuk run dia punya electrical device tu dan dia akan tulis dalam DC let's say dia akan tulis 2.5 ampere so dia tulis DC voltage ok so DC ni direct current tapi yang kita supply alternating current so current main macam ni ha, so positif so nanti awak dapat laptop awak pun duduk macam ni lah belik 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 kan so kita tak mau kita nak tukar okay, jadi direct current baru steady ha, so dia tengok smooth je lah punya bahan uh, TV ke elektrik ke ok kalau tidak ulang alik lah nampak kan ha. ok so macam mana nak buat benda ni kita guna ni lah so that is the function so the function of diode is to allow current flows in one direction so kita guna dia untuk apa? untuk convert AC to DC ok guna satu boleh lah guna nak guna berapa mungkin ada guna dua mungkin ada guna tiga ok so yang ni yang kita nak discuss ok so the use of diode and capacitor ok capacitor kita cerita tadi so now process of converting AC to DC is called rectification Okay, bahasa Melayu rektifikasi ya. Okay, rectification is a process using diode to convert AC to DC. Okay, this is the important part of the subtopic. So make sure you can explain how to convert AC to DC from rectification process. Okay. In this discussion, make sure you can draw the diagram of rectification circuit. We have two types of rectification Half wave and full wave So both of that you have to know So this is half wave rectification So half wave rectification means Separuh lah Separuh gelombang We use only one diode Okay Only one diode So you can see This is the power source AC Alternating current So alternating current ni Harus mengalik Dia pergi dua orang lah So first cycle dia pergi sini. Okey, then second cycle di sini. Okey. So yang ini graph of currents against time without the diode. So without the diode dia pergi sini, di sini, di sini, di sini. Okey. Tapi kita nak buat apa? Kita nak tukar AC di DC. Okey, ini resisten. Resisten ni boleh jadi apa-apa lah. Okey, ais ke apa ke. Okey, nak senang lagi kita anggap ini satu mentol lampu. Okey, kalau tak ada ni, ni apa? Okey, dia pergi side ke sini, dia pergi side ke sini. Tak cun, tak steady. So, nak steady dia mesti DC. Dia pergi one way. So, we put this one. Satu diode kita masuk. So, first cycle. Okey, sampai sini. First cycle. Kadang pergi. So, lampu dia menyala juga lah. Okay, so Second cycle Tak boleh Sebab apa? Kita tak lengkap Kadang tak boleh tembus ke sini Sebab ini Reverse bias Okay, pincang sonsang So, dia tak boleh tembus So Ini tak ada lah So Then Start balik cycle Kat sini boleh Lampu nyala sat Kat sini lampu tak nyala Kita tak lengkap Okay, so yang ni tak ada So, apa jadi? Dia jadi bleep lah Maksud dalam lampu awak kejap ada, kejap tak ada eh? Ada tak ada, ada tak ada Okey, macam tu So dia menyala tak menyala, mana tak menyala tak menyala Tapi proses ni laju, so kita tak nampak lah Okey, so this is half wave rectification So tak cun lah So ada gap kat sini, let's say Sepatutnya Satu saat, so maksudnya satu saat lagi setengah saat tak menyala So setengah saat lagi menyala, setengah saat lagi tak menyala ha, Macam tu So kita tak mahu lah, tak cun lah Rectification So We supposed to do full wave rectification where semua kat sini kena buat naik ok in this in that case nak buat full rectification we need 4 diodes bukan 2 eh so make sure you can draw you can explain ok now this is uh, full wave rectification means we are going to convert fully the AC to DC ok so just now we have half wave now we want to make it a full wave so first thing Uh, ada soalan dia pernah tanya Yang mana susunan diode yang betul So you kena tengok kan Susunan ni mesti selari macam ni uh, Tak boleh suka-suka yang ni nak letak kat sini Yang ni nak letak kat sini Asalkan ada empat tak boleh So you have 
ikut dia punya flow Alright, so sama juga macam tadi Let's say we have Okay, ini asalnya Alternating current Kita tak ada So, kita nak tukar semua ni From here Becomes Yang ini tadi tak ada Ini tak ada, kita nak ada kan So, dia akan jadi Macam ni Okay, ini untuk DC Ini AC Okay, so kita tengok Pick dia semua sama je Kenapa ada gap kat sini ha, Nanti kita cerita lain Nanti bila dah guna kapasitor Okay, now make sure you can explain this part Okay, how we start So let's say we start with Use numbers lah, senang eh Okay, current we start from here This is number one Okay, then current terus Number two Number three Number four Five, then the nine, six, seven, eight. Okay, cukup. Okay, try to put numbers. So how we start? With the switch on. So current flows. Lalu ke sini. So dia pergi sini. Kenapa tak pergi sini? Dia pergi ya, tapi tak ada current flows. Why? Because this is reverse bias. Okay, pincang sound sound. So current tak boleh flow ke sini. So current tak pergi sini. Dia pecah dua. So Okay, so kenapa tak lalu sini? Bukan dia tak lalu, tapi tak boleh tembus lah So kalau kita tak emitter ke sini, tak emitter ke sini, kita dapat kosong Okay, tak boleh tembus, no current flows over here, so dia akan tembus Okay, yang ni lah, yang lampu menyala baru Okay, then Terus Naik kat sini Kat sini dia boleh lalu Okay Terus, masuk So, apa jadi? Yang kat sini Okay, then what happen Bila current flow sini pula Okay, bila current flow sini Kita padam Kita tengok dia punya flow macam mana Okay, so This will be your starting point Then we go to number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Okay, so kalau nak terus this way masuk sini sini tak boleh masuk. We go this way dan nyalakan lampu. You patah balik, then you go this way, then you go back Okay, so just remember the number 1, 2, 3 Dalam ke lampu, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 You patah balik So, mean this part, masa dia reverse kot sini Pun mengalir, menghasilkan arus So, yang part kat sini Dah ada Tadi tak ada, sebab dia pergi patah balik, habis Lampu tak nyala Ini pergi patah balik, kena lampu So, this part dah main kat atas Ini pun sama juga lah So, dia start balik sini Memang ada Then dia pusing Kena juga lampu So, yang bawah ni nak ada So, dekat this part pun Boleh menghasilkan arus Dekat this part pun boleh menghasilkan arus So, you bawa semua So, full rectification You can see Half rectification Ini tak ada Sebab kita pakai satu layout So, full rectification Kita dapat lagi efektif okay, Ini ada Ini pun kita buat naik kan ini ada, ini pun kita bawa naik okay, So dia lagi efektif lah So nilai dia kat sini, nilai kat sini dia banyak current drop Means That's why kita bagi full wave Satu wave, another wave Both Produce current can light up the bulb Half wave Kat sini dia nyala, kat sini dia tak nyala That's why half wave So the process, reliable, make sure you know Jangan salah lukis, kat sini tak boleh ya? Okay, salah semua Okay, so from here we can conclude that of course full width is a better way. Okay, it's a better rectification. But let us focus on the DC produce. Okay, class. So this is the DC current produced from the rectification process. So we know this is the half width. This is the full width. 
However, this is not smooth enough. We're supposed to run an electrical device with a steady current. Steady current means kalau kita bagi nilai dia 30, 30 je kat mana-mana. Macam yang ni, let's say the maximum current is 30, tapi dia ada drop sikit lah. Drop sekejap, drop sekejap. Walaupun time dia sangat-sangat kecil lah, microsecond, kita tak nampak dengan mata kasar. Tapi tak bagus untuk the electrical device lah. Electrical device apa tengah run, slow, tengah run, slow, tengah run, slow. Macam waktu pecut, stop, pecut, stop, pecut, stop. Malam-malam lima kot lah. So, ini pun sama lah. Dia ada maksimum current, lepas tu dia hilang sekejap, lepas tu dia ada balik Okay, so kita nak macam ni Current produce steady lah, kalau kita tengok tadi Tu ni tak mau lift up, lift up, lift up Kan? Okay, so how to make it become like this Okay, this is another device we use called Capacitor Bahasa Melayu pun Capacitor So, what is Capacitor? Capacitor dia bukan saya kenal ke? Okay, so Capacitor is Electrical device used to store charge It is simpan charge Electric okay. Nama pun kapasitor From the word capacity Muatan Berapa charge dia boleh muat okay. In simple word Kapasitor is your Power bank okay. Okay. Power bank ni macam mana nak guna? Boleh lah? Boleh boleh tahu guna? Tak boleh Dia kena buat apa? Charge So you charge the kapasitor Charge your power bank Sampai dia dah penuh Lepas tu dia ke lag So bila, bila uh, Handphone awak tak ada bateri Oh it's cucuk eh So dia main mana So charge from the power bank ni From the capacitor Dia flow Dalam ni Handphone awak So bila charge to flow Means current lah So dia menghasilkan arus So in this case We want to smoothen Kita nak ratakan benda ni lah Yang jatuh tadi ni Kita tak nak Kita nak jadi macam So ketika proses ni Kita nak capacitor supply Ketika ni kita tak nak gap ni So kita nak capacitor supply charge tu Capacitor supply charge Capacitor supply charge So dia jadi macam ni lah Cantik lah Okay so From this part We need capacitor Inside the circuit When we do the rectification Kita masukkan capacitor ke situ So you masukkan capacitor ke situ Bila current lalu Dia charge capacitor Bila time Ada current drop ni Means Capacitor tu akan release Kapasitor akan release Kapasitor tu akan release So dia semua tu Ini pun sama Dia jatuh Kat sini tak ada current Lingkup lah tinggi awak kan Set on, set off, set on, set off ha, So Apa apa Kapasitor tu akan lepaskan lah Dia charge yang dia simpan tadi So dia kena charge dia dulu So dia discharge Means Dia ada sepat okay, So Dia jadi semua lah So where to put the kapasitor Okay tengok balik Gambar raja Untuk surat Okay, muka surat 186 Okay, so that's the explanation So you can read the explanation Page 186 yang dalam box Color orange tu Okay, so we have capacitor Charging and discharging the capacitor So again Okay, so buat yang half rectification tadi tu So we have capacitor Okay, we have diodes over there Okay, let's say this is the lampu, mental So what happen? One way, current boleh lalu Capacitor is charged So this way, current tak boleh lalu Sebab circuit pincang Yang ni tak nyala Tapi yang ni tadi masa dia lalu tadi dia charge Masa dia tak boleh lalu, yang ni pula Current ni tak boleh pergi sini So charge from here is released We call that discharging process So dia discharge So yang ni lah The same goes to the full rectification So you go one cycle, they charge you Masa you return, they discharge Okay, so circuit tu akan jadi So for this part uh, 5.2, no calculation So make sure you can Distinguish, differentiate Okay, what is Full wave rectification, what is Half wave rectification Okay, and then Why we use capacitor Okay, kalau use capacitor, tak kena buat apa dulu Okay, what is the function of capacitor So which one is better? Okay, of course. So that's all.